Paul in 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, compares living the Christian life to running in a race. When you run the Christian race, you have to guard yourself against the distractions in this world like COVID and politics and other stumbling blocks that Satan puts in your way. You run the Christian race to win. It's not a sprint, but a marathon. When you run a marathon, you must be disciplined. You never look back, but you look ahead always toward the finish line. When you run the race, it helps to receive encouragement from other Christians while renewing your strength through prayer and the reading of God's Word. I see two women running in my neighborhood almost every day. They're training for the Boston Marathon, and they're very focused on their goal. They exercise self-control in an effort to win a corruptible crown, but as Christians, we're striving for an incorruptible crown. In the Christian race, there's not just one winner. Every Christian who finishes the race will receive an incorruptible crown of life. Paul says it best in 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, verses 24 and 25. Know ye not that they that run the race run all, but, but one receiveth the prize? Even so run, that you may attain, and every man that striveth in the games exercises self-control in all things. Now they do it to receive a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. In summary, the book of Hebrews says in Hebrews 12.1, Therefore, let us also, seeing we are encompassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, lay aside every weight and sin that which doth easily beset you, and let's run the race with patience that is set before us.